Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we are taking a look at Unbeatable from developer D-Cell Games. Now, this is a fairly interesting game for a couple of reasons. First of all, its visual style is bloody gorgeous. It is beautiful. You have this film grain texture over the top of every scene and then some beautiful 2D hand-drawn animation going as your character sprites with 3D backgrounds. Very interesting to put together, looks absolutely wonderful. Also quite interesting, this game is apparently an exclusive side story set in the world of Diesel Games' debut work. The thing is, their debut work isn't on their Steam page yet, so this is all we have, which is all well and good. It is a very interesting looking game, I will say. I love the way this looks, and I cannot wait to give it a go. It looks like a pretty good side-scrolling beat-em-up from what I've seen, and yeah, it looks really interesting. But before we start today's video, I would just like to take the opportunity to say, if you enjoy it, then don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for the latest Toggle Jam videos, whenever they may be. I always love looking at games like this, so you'll always find something at least a little bit interesting. So here we are. As you can see, you've got a hand-drawn animation there. You've got the sort of uh, persona-like word bubbles, is what that reminds me of quite a bit. And then you've got your 3D backdrop, which is all very lovely. Anyway, that's beat. And apparently we have... Wait. Oh, we actually do have options. Huh. Three options. I like that. I like that you actually have, like, diverging story, even when there's no one around to get affected by it. Uh, I could be later. Yeah. Not the best vote of confidence that I'm already bet hedging. Maybe they won't notice? Uh, yes. Um, they definitely noticed. <laughs> I bet Quaver will be nice about it. Ah, they're all music-based names. I love it. Or I hope. God, what? God, I hope. Treble might be chill. Yeah, they're all, they're all music names. Lovely. So here we are. We can jump around. There is a car. Oh, wow. We've even got... I don't know why, I thought this was just side-scrolling, but no! Look! We have depth! Wow, I shouldn't be as impressed by that as I am, but shit. There we go. I don't drive, I don't know if I will ever drive. Uh, cars give me anxiety, the entire concept of being behind the wheel of one makes me stressed out. I can relate to that! <laughs> Very much. Uh, sometimes in the middle of night, I hit a highway and suddenly think I'm in the middle of it. Alone. With cars barely missing me. I have no idea how cars work. You could tell me anything about cars and i just assume it was true. But even then, something still tells me this is a really shitty parking job. <laughs> oh, I like Beat. I like Beat already. Right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, guys. Oh. Oh, my God. They're adorable. Uh, right. I sense some irritation in your voice. So glad you decided to finally show up. I love it. And I love that. Uh, we were just waiting and... I love that the speech bubbles cross over each other. I do wish I could read it, but oh well. Oh, I like the song I wrote. Funny. I get it. It's funny. Oh god, what are they even saying? They're all talking over each other. How the fuck are you meant to read all this? Oh, damn it. Lovely. Right, all of us are sick of it. Actually, there's no rush. Lovely. Uh, true, don't worry. Okay. So we have Beat, Clef, Treble. Who's the little one? Wait a minute, what was the name of the little one? Uh, oh, so, wait a minute, old food sounds good. I'm sorry. Uh, there we go, let's go for that. Seriously, I promised, and it sucks. There we go. We're gonna be, try and be a good friend. <laughs> oh, dear. What's the first one called? What's the third one called? We have not heard anything from the one in the middle. Is it Quaver? That's Quaver. Okay, good. I'm glad we've established the names. Wonderful. Ah, oh, come on now. I'm surprised there's no music in the background at the moment. Just like these sort of street sounds. Anyway, what else we got? We got a fridge! The fridge is... It doesn't work anyway. Damn it, trust me, we tried. We tried. Oh, dear God. Right, what else we got? Uh, we got signs. Okay. Oh, oh, and we can knock over the environment. Don't ask me why. I love it. Anyway. Are you feeling up to this? Yes! You seem, don't take this the wrong way, but unsure. Are you sure you're sure? Uh, wait a minute. Of course I'm sure. <laughs> there we go. Positivity. Lovely. Okay, so business as usual then. Yeah, come on. Go on then. I am very interested to see the gameplay of this. Wait, is this? Press the D-pad to attack.
Wait, how do you do both? What? Damn it! <laughs> that is... Why does this remind me so much of Scott Pilgrim? Bloody hell. Okay, my timing is terrible. But, I love the sound of this game. I absolutely bloody love it. I am terrible at rhythm games. But... I love the way this looks. This is visually so damn good. Oh, so you can attack twice. Okay. That is so bloody cool. I love this. Just as a concept, this is so bloody good. I'm not good at it, but I bloody love it. Okay. Okay. Again, not sure whether I'm doing well, but bloody hell. Wait, okay. I did very poorly then. Okay. I may suck at this. Oh, shit. I got distracted by the visuals. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Got the beat now. Got the rhythm. This is going better. I love this sort of game. Fucking hell, I'm very surprised by this. From the visuals, I just assumed it was some kind of side-scrolling beat-em-up. This is so much better. Damn it. Okay, wait a minute. I've already forgotten what you're meant to do with, like, the triangular ones. But I do love this just as a concept. This is... So bloody cool! There we go. So you need to do... Okay, no. I get the hang of this now. Okay. I'm sort of getting it, like, very slowly. Okay. But yeah, I'm just getting such Scott Pilgrim vibes from this. And it is bloody amazing. I, I'm i already loving this more than I have done a rhythm game in a very, very long time. My hit rate was appalling. It was only, like, 50%. But, wow, that is so cool. Okay. Okay. That is so bloody cool. Right. <laughs> okay, well, let's do some more then. Let's do some more because this is so interesting. Wait, so is... Are these all tutorials? Okay, wait, there's a tutorial there. Okay, right. Can we go back to Old Familiar? Is that an option? Because this is such an interesting concept just for a rhythm game as well. I am kind of curious. Okay, I want to go with Familiar again. Because, first of all, that was a really cool song. Um, but I also sort of want to figure out how the combat actually works and how... Okay, so it's down for that, up for that. I'm not very good with rhythm games in general, which is... Okay, I still don't know what you're meant to do with that. Whether you're meant to jump out of the way or what. But, apparently I'm doing much better this time. Okay. Okay, so I think you're meant to dodge the sharper ones. Which makes a lot more sense. Okay. There we go. My hit rate is so much better already. Oh, that's better. And again, visually, this is a bloody treat. This is just so damn cool looking. Okay. And you know what? There is a decent amount of depth to it in terms of a combat. Or just as a rhythm game. Like the changing camera movement every now and then just to give you something different to not necessarily look at, but... I think it even impacts how you listen to it, which is really cool.
Like, I think it has uh, omnidirectional audio, which is so bloody good. Okay, so was that the end of it? Yes, okay. 72%. Way better than the first time. That is brilliant. Didn't get a great grade, but I got a grade, so that's fine. Okay. That is really, really cool. Let's do another one. Okay, so what should we listen to this time? We've got Empty Diary. Forever When. Uh, Proper Rhythm Must Die Remix. <laughs> uh, Forever Now. What else? Empty Diary again. True. Uh, Done in Love. What else we got? We got Familiar again. What's this one? Okay, yeah, I can do this. There we go. Let's do this one. <laughs> oh, damn. I may have time management issues. Okay, not may. I do. I have very bad issues with time management. Given that you don't think I'd be more forgiving of other people for having the same problem. Nope. I'm a real asshole. Full time. Always. I say that way. Uh, I say I'm that way to protect myself. Because otherwise things would go badly for me. But I probably could just be nicer. Okay, let's do this. Again, just this whole thing is right up my street. And the way it sounds, the music in this, has a good enough range to have some songs that obviously I won't be as big a fan of, but then there's a lot of stuff that just sounds so damn cool. My only hope is that there aren't any copyright issues with this. Now, I don't think there will be, but you can never tell, can you? I know, I'm sure these are all original songs. I'm really hoping they are, because otherwise I am fucked for like... Um, you know, any copyright. But yeah, I do want to get the DLC. I think there's DLC for all of these songs just to listen to them. Which is brilliant. Because this is a brilliant soundtrack. And it's also just portrayed so well. Now, I would like some different backgrounds, but I presume when the full game of this comes out, that will be a thing. At the moment, it's not. But that's fine. There we go. Come on. It's got that very sort of garage band sound and I love it. I'm not going to love every song in this. For example, there are those remixes which I'm not going to be as big a fan of. But stuff like this, I bloody love. It is ridiculous how good this sounds to me. Right. Jump. There we go. Ah, that's better. And, of course, the controls are actually very simple. Uh, and I love that about it. It controls so nicely. It is insane. But, yeah, no. I'm getting such Scott Pilgrim vibes from this. I fucking love it. I really do. There we go. Come on. Yes, there we are. And the little health bar on top is actually quite nice as well. It sort of reminds me, control-wise, of the Taiko drum game on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's very simple. Just one button below, one button on top. You occasionally have to dodge stuff. It's not the deepest music game in the world. But the visuals, the controls, the music itself all works together absolutely perfectly. It is insane how well this works. Not entirely surprising either. But it is just so good. Damn it, I missed. Ah! I don't know how I missed that. That is awful. Right, there we go. There we go. Did I even hit that last one? I am not sure. Also, sort of reminds me of the Kingdom Hearts uh, Melody of Memories. In a way, with the way that you work with all of these longer notes and everything. It is just... Ah! It's so fucking cool. There we go. 86%. That is very good. I'm pleased with that. I am very pleased with that. Okay. Give me a good grade. B. Yes. Beautiful. Ah. Perfect. Oh, God. You're late again. Oh, beat. Okay. Right. I think we should do one more at least. Uh, let's see. Got Empty Diary. 
I'm gonna go for popular rhythm. I love the way that sounds. Okay. Ah, shit, just unplug my controller. Oops. <laughs> this was... <laughs> this probably was my fault. There were definitely a few years that I thought music was just not a thing for me. Because of this. Sure, okay, I still feel that way sometimes. But this was... It felt like learning how to speak a foreign language in a body that didn't have a mouth. I can't process it all at the same time. It feels too much information for me. It can't have been easy on her either, looking back. Ah, oh, damn. Come on then, I want to hear this. You should be sitting up straight, but without Again. Such a solid bass line. Bloody love it. And for some reason, I'm getting so many perfects on this. <laughs> Probably because it's a tutorial. Yeah, no, this just... The music in this game, my goodness, it is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Ah, damn it, I missed that long one. That's annoying. I will say... A lot of this music wouldn't feel out of place in a Tony Hawk's game. That's the kind of vibe I get from it. There we go, lovely. Get those big long notes. Oh god, I'm gonna have a hard time swapping between them. There we go, that's better. I think I'm about 84% accurate, which isn't terrible. But yeah, this just sounds so much like the sort of music you'd have in a Tony Hawk's game. And I bloody love it. In fact, I kind of wish that the Tony Hawk's music slapped this much, because this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> there we go. Ah, fuck, it's so cool as well with, like, the different monsters and whatever you call them. See, the thing as well I always have with these sort of games is that I kind of want to attack the monsters way earlier when they appear on screen. That is a big problem I have. Oh, there we go. That is, again, just different formations that work so well. 80%. Not great. Definitely not great. Could have been so much worse. That's still a B. There we go. Oh, I'm going to play the hell out of this. <laughs> okay. What? Who was the dev of this again? D-Cell Games. D-Cell Games, you're on my list. You're on my list. I'm going to keep a close eye on everything you make. Because this is too bloody interesting for words. Right. Maybe one last song. What else? What else we got? Okay, go back. Okay, we got mirror. There, that's a high energy one. Okay, tell you what. Let's go for... Proper rhythm, we've done that. So let's do empty diary. That sounds like a good one. I used to have real problems with trying to keep everything in my head. It's not that I want to be dis a disorganized mess, you know? I just... I just have not, historically, got along well with journals or diaries or sketchbooks. I've always hated them, as you do. Uh, something about the fact that it's a book makes it harder. It's easy to start it. Uh, you can just say, hey, I want to start using this, and you do it. But books have ends. Once you get over how exciting it is to start something new, you look at the rest of it, and it's nothing. It's just tons and tons of blank pages you haven't gotten to. And the second I think about that, uh... And the second I think about that at all, it means I never will. Damn. Okay. I would love to see some more variety in the backgrounds. 
I'm sure that's going to be a thing going forward. Uh, because, again, the way they use the 2D sprites with the 3D backgrounds is so well done. I'm trying to think of the game it reminds me of because there is one very particular one that has a very similar visual style to this in some ways. But, I don't know, the, the animation stuff sort of reminds me of those uh, Beat City Girls. Was that the game from um, Way Forward? That might have been it. I love the garage sound though. That is my favorite bit of this game. Because <laughs> surprisingly, it's not an overly common thing for rhythm games. You either have, you know, very a wide range of genres or you just have like that one specific. I can't think of many rhythm games with this sort of musical style. And it works so well. There we go. But yeah, no, this is just... I mean, it's going pretty well. I've not got the greatest hit rate. 87%. It's better than last time. Will it last? I kind of doubt it. But also little things like whenever you hit the button, you see the little animation in the back, the drummer, that bass drum goes off. Like little details like that are what make this game so brilliantly done. Like such attention to tiny details that a lot of people wouldn't even notice. You know, it's that sort of thing that we need more of with ribbon games like this. There we go. I think I missed. Almost. There we go. It works so well, though. I mean, it, it, it's a shame I don't really have anything bad to say apart from the lack of variety in the backgrounds. But in the end, that is such a small complaint. Like, that is basically nothing. But this just... Oh my goodness, this might be my favourite rhythm game. This already, I believe, is going to be in my top 10 of the year. Just on a visual front, music front, presentation, gameplay, though simple, very effective. And I just cannot praise it enough, which is a problem. But yeah, this is definitely built off the sort of Taiko drum game. In terms of the way it works with its uh, combat and stuff. Like the big monsters are like the mallets. The little ones are just the regular beats. You sometimes have to do both. If you've ever played that Taiko drum game. You will be good at this I dare say. There we go. Keep going. But yeah no. If you have not considered or even seen this before. It's free. And it might be one of my favourite games of the fucking year. <laughs> Go and pick this up. It is worth your time and no money. It is worth it. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Right. Oh, boy. Why not just use an actual journal? Don't ask. <laughs> Lovely. And I love those little character moments at the end of songs. That as well. It's, it's all fucking amazing. <laughs> And you know what? It's got a Kickstarter. I'm probably going to give a bit to it. Because, yikes. That is so excellent. There we go. I can't say anything else about it. This is so interesting. Go and take a look at this game for yourself. Especially if you're a fan of rhythm games. If you're a fan of that garage sound. Go and try it out. Because this is just absolutely marvellous. And I cannot recommend it enough. If you enjoyed this video... First of all, go and get this damn game. I've said it too many times. Uh, but as well as that, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you subscribe, ring the bell to see more games like this you may never have seen otherwise. But there we go. This has been unbeatable. An absolutely incredible rhythm game. Which, quite frankly, I thought would be a very good uh, like side-scrolling beat-em-up. But no, it is so much more. And I fucking love it. <laughs> I absolutely do. It is so good. Oh, it's insane. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been Toggle Jam. This has been Unbeatable. And I hope you will join me next time when hopefully I can find another game that's just as interesting. I'll see you then.